You're with your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso right here on SABC3. Thank you so much for choosing to start your day off on the right side of lockdown. Now, a few months ago, radio personality Bongani Mtolo announced his departure from a KZN radio station to take over from Fed Joe at Radio 2000. And the award-winning DJ says he's looking forward to the challenge. Uh, Bongani Mtolo joins us this morning to tell us more about his new radio venture, his new radio home, as well as what he's been up to during the national lockdown. Bon Gani, good morning. Good morning, Tabi. So how are you, sir? Ah, so good, man. So good to see you. Uh, congratulations, first of all, on your new show at Radio 2000. Thank you so much, man. I'm actually excited to be speaking to you because we're homeboys, so... I was glad when they said, listen, I'm going to be chatting to you. Absolutely. I love what this lockdown has been able to do, bring people together in a somewhat interesting way. I mean, you and I have had many conversations on your radio show, uh, but this time yeah. around you're joining us to share some feel good. Uh, but, you know, Bongani, the COVID-19 pandemic has resulted in a national lockdown as an aid to limit the number of infected cases. How have you been dealing with all of this? How have you been dealing with the lockdown? How are you keeping safe at home? Uh, look, obviously, social distancing, um, as you can see, I'm at home, staying at home, only going to work when I need to. Uh, my family's in KZN, so I haven't been able to go home for almost a month. But uh, on a positive, I've got to be honest, um, the lockdown for me has just made me realize how blessed I am, you know. Um, I've got a family, I've got a roof over my head, uh, I've got a car to drive, I've got food to eat. And I think because of the space that I'm in, I've had a lot of people that actually have nothing, you know. And this has just really reminded me of how blessed I actually am. Uh, but you, you have quite an interesting story, Bongani, and it makes me smile when I think about this. I mean, you started off as a used car salesman, uh, which is a job yeah. you kept for eight years, and then you ended up on radio. How did that happen, and, and where did all of this begin? Uh, sold cars for eight years, very good at selling cars. And then the industry started changing, you know, where we were not making as much money as we used to make. And I remember I would always have clients who I obviously thought were rich and happy. And every time I asked them on, so what regret do you have in your life? They all said, I wish I'd followed my passion, you know? Mm. I'm either a doctor and I hate it, or I'm an accountant. I've got all this money, but I hate waking up and going to work. And I think that's really what sparked the, the thought in my head that, listen, man, my passion's always been radio now. How do I actually come together and, and start chasing this dream of being on radio? And, and here you are, I think, uh, a, a few years later into taking uh, on the world of radio. You won Best Drive Show Presenter at the Liberty Radio Awards for two years in a row. Let's start there. Uh, that's yeah. 2018 and 2019. What exactly does this mean to you? And, uh, you know, uh, who, who were you up against again? <laughs> I was up against uh, the one year it was DJ Fresh, Mo Flavor, uh, Master Chabanzo, who was still on the radio, Spain Names. Basically, all of the radio greats, and I think if you think about my story, when I was selling cars, I'd be doing a delivery, all of these guys were already on radio, you know? Um, I mean, I used to look at Fresh as this god of radio, and here I am. I mean, Glenn Lewis was, was I was up against Glenn Lewis the one year, and I still won, you know? Yeah, it's um, incredible. So I think that was great, but also more than anything, I think winning for me made me realize that I'm not crazy, because when I left work, I went through like a very tough time where I lost my car, I went back to taking public transport. Um, luckily, my house was paid up, but I would have lost my house. So I've been through the whole nine, you know, and to win was like a step of a third to say, listen, you are not crazy. You actually can do this. So, yeah, it was amazing. Here you are now, Radio 2000. You've replaced the iconic uh, personality that has fed Joe as the host of Radio 2000's breakfast show. Uh, yeah. You've done so well in radio, but of course, Fed Joe is a completely different type and breed of uh, radio DJ altogether. Do you feel any pressure? And what are you hoping to bring uh, onto the show uh, as you step into those boots? No, I, I don't. Uh, I mean, it's actually the second time I'm taking over from Fed Joe. And that's the first year I won the award and it grew the listenership, you know. Um, as much as I respect Fed Joe, I think for what he's done to the industry, um, he's Fed Joe, but I'm also Bongani, <laughs> you know? Yes. Um, yeah, man, I, I, I bring my own unique style of radio. I also think my radio is different. Mm. Um, I can confidently say that I do the most honest kind of radio in the country. Uh, doing radio yeah. during this very interesting time of the COVID-19 pandemic, how do you see this affecting the future of, uh, of the broadcast industry? I, I, th I think for now, I mean, this is one of those times where we really separate, because I think there are a lot of personalities on radio. 
Um, I think um, that you know COVID nineteen is really going to separate the the celebrities on radio versus ra radio broadcasters mm. because now you actually have to give people information. Um, you know, people don't have time for fluff. People need to know that you know what you're talking about. That's the first thing. And I think for radio as a whole, guys, we've got to change the way we do radio. I mean, I'm literally having a conversation with you now from home. That's where we need to be. You don't have you don't have like an hour now to get the right content out of a person. You need to be super prepared. And even if you've got four questions to ask, you ask the right question. So I just think it puts people under pressure. Um, and, 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 and for me, it makes me want to be better. It's an opportunity now to shine. Thank you so much for chatting to us this morning. And we wish you all the best on your radio show that Radio 2000 will be listening to you. And of course, he is on the radio Monday to Friday, 6 till 9 o'clock on Radio 2000. He kicks off a new chapter in his radio career as the host of The Takeoff with Bongani Mtolo and Nala between 6 and 9. That's on weekdays, like I said. Of course, most certainly a star that we are all going to be watching and looking out for and listening to. Thank you very much once again, Bongani Mtolo.